everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm nia g today's video is going to be a k skin review k skin is a black owned black women owned skincare brand for sunscreen and i am so excited i was just scrolling through sephora and i just so happened to find this and they have a category dedicated to black skincare and makeup and i was just scrolling and i was like oh this is cool like this is perfect for the summertime i need some spf i plan to be outside like no other taking trips and all that so i definitely need to keep my skin protected originally when i purchased it i didn't know that it was black owned but i didn't know that it's actually owned by no other than Winnie harlow perfect um we all know that she has vitiligo and her skin is phenomenal all the time like she's literally always glowing purchased the body lotion face lotion and the lip balm so i'm going to be reviewing trying on all three as you guys can see like my skin is literally glowing okay glowing i will link these items down below and if you guys choose to purchase and you use my link i will make a small commission which really helps me out to show you guys more things that i absolutely love also when i see that more people are clicking the links and checking them out i'm like oh, okay you guys like this so i'll keep reviewing things in this realm so let me give you guys a little bit more in depth about the product itself and then we'll get into the video first things first the lip balm is spf 30 which retailed for 14 you need spf for your lips as well i have been burnt on my lips before and it was super uncomfortable so this is it here and it's super small i show you guys everything during the review next is the body lotion which was 38 dollars for spf which is SPF 45. Um, I know that a lot of us kind of, if we have SPF for our bodies, we'll like put it on our face as well. But it's good to have something that's a little different because you might not like how it feels or looks on your face. And it might not have as strong ingredients in the body lotion as it will for your face because your face is always directly in the sun. And that is the face lotion is also SPF 45 and it retail for $34. All of these are clean beauty products. The packaging is so beautiful. They're all orange, but the actual product inside is brown. It's such a cute color contrast and they're also small enough so you can travel with them which i'm so excited about because i need to bring these on my trips and a lot of times with sunscreen i have to repackage it so that i can fit it into my carry-on with this i could just take it as is and it is super easy no repackaging no spills nothing so that's all for now make sure you give this video a thumbs so excited to try something new i've kind of been sticking with the same skincare all that um, for the last few years and it's time to step it up a notch okay I'm getting a little bit older that means that my skin is gonna start aging and we're not doing that but that's all for now now let's get into the video I'm going to try everything on now I did my skincare routine and body routine as normal I do have a video of my skincare routine my summer skincare routine from last summer it's pretty much still the same I really have no need to update it because I haven't tweaked it that much I pretty much still use the same products so if you want to know what I do like on a regular basis you can check that out I will link it and as for my body um, I do use a body brush to exfoliate not every day more like every other day every couple of days um regular soaps Aveeno body lotion um for my body as normal like really nothing spectacular nothing that different so everything is the exact same this is what I would normally do like on a beach day or a day outside so I'm not gonna lie I do typically always wear SPF on my face but not always on my entire body especially my legs like if you know I'm wearing pants or something like that you know I just yeah I'm not gonna sit here and lie and pretend so here are the products K skin the lip gloss is the smallest one the lip balm actually is SPF 30 and it is water resistant for up to 40 minutes so that means it needs to be reapplied every 40 minutes and it is 0.35 ounces the glow face lotion is SPF 45 and it is 1.5 ounces and the body lotion is also spf 45 and this is sunscreen is 3.4 fluid ounces so all of the carry on item the side of the packaging is all of the ingredients so let's start with 
the face lotion because I'm going to put the face lotion on and then put on the lip balm. So the ingredients, so it says it is a pearlescent, lightweight and antioxidant packed face sunscreen with UVA and UVB protection with, that illuminates all skin tones for an instant island glow for daily use with or without makeup. So I guess you would put this on, on before you put your makeup on and then go about it. I don't really, I've seen videos on how to reapply sunscreen after wearing makeup, but honestly, if I'm wearing, like, I'm not going to wear makeup in the sun like that. Like, I'm just not there yet. Um, so the ingredients, the signature ingredients are sea moss, hydrating nectar, isinamide, vitamin B3, and panthenol, vitamin B5. And it says the directions, so apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure and reapply at least every two hours immediately after towel drying. Read the, read the instructions on your product so you can make the most out of them. And then also keep in mind what works best for you. But if you are using a product and you feel like, oh, it's not working and I keep having to reapply or I got sunburned, it's because you didn't read the directions. Like, I don't know. Once you don't follow the directions, like, I really can't help you. So this is such a cute color combo, the orange and the brown. I'm definitely going to have to get a cute little picture of this. I have no idea where my phone is. But this is very appealing and very easy on the eye. I'm going to pump just a little bit. I'm just going to get it on all parts of my face. This is how I would apply any normal face moisturizer. So I have some in pretty much every corner and now I'll get to rub. Normally when I wear sunscreen on my face, here I go putting it on my lip. But I normally do put the sunscreen on my lip because it's been, it's been so hard for me to find a lip balm with a decent amount of SPF in it. And I have had my lips sunburn before which is extremely uncomfortable and no one wants to look or feel like they have crusty lips. So, yeah, this is definitely very much worthy. I can see the glow in the lower half of my face already. Like, I love the way that sunscreen makes my face look in general. All I need to get some for my ears, my neck, and the back of my neck because my ears do burn as well. And a lot of people neglect their ears, but I'm not sure why, being that when not they get burnt as well so yeah I do love this it is like it gives me a nice little tint as you guys saw like when the product came out it has a light brown like tan hinge to it which I guess that's where the glow comes from I literally feel like a bronze goddess with this on my face it looks so good I'm just like a shining and I love it and it doesn't feel sticky like I can feel like a little bit of a cast on my hands but it doesn't feel gross you know what I mean so that's a plus so right now it's not giving white I know that as a black person we can tend to turn white with certain sunscreens but this sunscreen is it's doing it for me as of right now on um, up the lip balm which i'm honestly most excited about it's brown so cute okay it's the same apply 15 minutes before sun exposure reapply at least every two hours as someone that wears lip gloss i tend to reapply my lip gloss whenever i feel it's worn off after i've drank something after i eat something so i know that this i will probably be frequently reapplying if I feel that it's gone you know what I mean but look at the tip of it it's like it's clear so I really like that and I'm just gonna pump some of it out so I can show you guys how the product looked okay that comes out clear I wonder if it's gonna have the same effect as like beauty supply lip gloss or what yeah okay a little bit does go a long way I'm just rubbing it around oh my god my lips feel so soft and supple like look at this glow like 
And I love that it doesn't have any color with it, so you can put it on top of your favorite lip gloss color, lip liner, brown liner, and clear. Always looks cute together, and it smells so good. It smells like cocoa butter, like, it smells freaking amazing. I wonder if it says what it's supposed to smell like. Yeah, so the main ingredients in here are sea moss, aloe stem cells, and vitamin E. Vitamin E is amazing for your skin, but this feels really good. The body lotion, I'm going to put it on my arms because you guys can't see my legs. I will put it on my legs, but I really feel that it won't, it's not going to give. I'll show you guys a, a, how my legs look once it's on. But I'm not going to show you guys me applying it to my leg. Signature ingredients is the same as the face, but there is... No, it's different. It's different because the face doesn't have the ni niacinamide B3 and panthenol vitamin B5. That is not in the body lotion. So the body lotion has sea moss, hydrating nectar, sunflower seed oil, cocoa seed butter I love the way that cocoa butter feels on my skin and I also love the way that it makes me smell so honestly I'm excited for this so I'm just gonna pump some of it out so it has the same tan tint to it as the face cream and I'm just gonna rub it all over my chest and my arms Okay, it's like rubbing out like immediately so I don't have to do the most to get rid of any cast I do see the sparkle and the shine coming through on my skin almost immediately and I wonder honestly how many pumps I'm supposed to be using because I feel like I use about three and get that on my body I'm glowing I'm sure you guys can see the difference in my skin from when I first started this video to now this looks good and I will show you guys my leg but yeah so it feels good I like how it feels I am gonna run I'm going to get dressed and run to the store and then I'll give you guys my official review once I get back. But I will show you guys how it looks on my leg before I do head out. So I'm rubbing it in. I love how this rubs in. It is literally flawless. It's literally like my skin but better. The tint is not as strong as like a tinted moisturizer but it does like you can see the difference this is good okay so these are my legs this leg I just rubbed it in the body lotion in mind you I have lotion on this leg but I do not have the SPF this K skin body lotion and glow on this leg and you can see the difference you can see the difference okay so I'm back from the store, literally just got back, if you guys can kind of tell I'm a little bit out of breath still. I took these pictures at 3.04 of the packaging and it is currently 4.38, so that is, so that's pretty much 90 minutes that I've had all of the products applied. Um, first of all, it is hot outside. Let me tell you guys what temperature it is right now in New York. It is... Ain't no way. There's no way it's 78 degrees. But it's 80 degrees. It's hot. I went for low-key a long walk because I walked to the store and I kept having to check different stores what I was looking for. And I found it. And pretty much I'm sweating. Like a light sweat but not OD. But usually the second I start sweating and I have on certain sunscreens, it leaks and it starts getting in my eye and burning. But I'm not feeling that and I'm still just as glowy, just as bright. And um, 
yeah my skin feels good it doesn't feel sticky like I can definitely tell that I have something on it and it doesn't make me feel like super duper soft like a lotion would but I can tell that there is something there protecting my skin so so far 10 out of 10 experience um it says that you are supposed to reapply this every two hours and it's 90 minutes in so that's an hour and a half and almost two hours and i can definitely say that i still feel protected by this product um so yeah i rated a 10 you guys can tell that my lip gloss is still on it's still super soft like it feels like like there are certain lip glosses that wear off very very fast and this isn't like a milky texture like it's literally a bomb like it says but another thing about it is i run my mouth i talk a lot and it doesn't give me that white line so that's also a plus because it's not cute i developed that and i've had this on for a bit now so and 10 out of 10 pictures of you know my skin glowing and everything but i do love how it looks i've kind of feel tint of color in the product i think that you should either be that skin complexion or a little bit darker like to my complexion or like further on um for this glow because i kind of feel like um because i like the tint is definitely there like i definitely see it like it enhances for me it enhances my natural glow and like I do see like a little bronze um I should have inserted a clip of me outside like I see the bronzing I definitely do see the bronze it gives me like a highlighted effect like amongst right here so for my no concealer no makeup days this is going to definitely be my go-to this definitely enhances my skin and I can see myself wearing this year round not just in the summer but just having it right now for the summertime when I am expected to be outside more than I normally would on a regular basis this is absolutely perfect but that's all for now make sure you guys check out the links down below if you do choose to purchase these products I will make a small commission like I mentioned let me know down below your thoughts on this on K skin as a whole I'm definitely super excited for this brand and I created by a black woman is that it is more in tune with what works for our skin because like I mentioned sunscreen has a tendency to make us look very ghostly and we don't like that but that's all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to my channel and like this video and check out all of my other videos skincare makeup routines all that I do have a recent Sephora haul which if you like this video you will definitely like I'm a huge Sephora fan so that's all for now and I'll see you guys next time